Okay, so it just throws us straight into it like that. Anyway, welcome to Watch Dogs 2. I'm sorry if I'm sounding quiet. It's like midnight. I just got home from work, so yeah, there's people in, but I got the game, so I am excited. I was actually one of the few people that actually really liked the first Watch Dogs game. I actually did a series on it if you want to go check it out, so I'll leave a playlist link in the description. I know no one's going to go click on it, but to that one person that's curious, it's there, so yeah. Um, I actually did that like a week before the actual game like this actually got announced because it was so obvious this game was going to get announced i thought it was going to get announced at e3 but it actually got announced out of nowhere so yeah i have I, nothing more to say I'm, i've been really excited for this really excited um so i'm sorry that i'm posting it a bit later uh i just got the game today i actually got the deluxe edition which doesn't it only give, it gives you a few costume packs and stuff like that but it gives me like a map and a cool case and stuff like that so Anyway, yeah, we're just gonna get straight into this. I'm not gonna do a long intro. Let's just get straight into Watch Dogs 2. I'm excited. I hope you are. Let's do this. Consider this your 10 sec initiation retro. Your mission, should you choose to accept it is to bypass Bloom security doors and get inside. Then find and erase your personal CTOS profile. Whatever okay, happened, so... It's all bullshit, and I'm sick of getting harassed for it. All the more reason for a purge. We'll be oh, watching. God. Try to keep up. By the okay. way, oh, we'll God. just play this together to set the mood. Hope you like it. Yeah, so the running controls are different from the first game. You've got to click down L3 to do it now. Before it was hold down L2. R2. Whatever. You've still got the sticky cover though. I am so excited, man. Like, I actually really did like the first Watch Dogs game, so... Besides the driving, the game is really... What is this music? <laughs> uh oh. He didn't see me. Oh! Get down. Alright. I have a weapon, what? Do I? Oh. Okay. There we go. Alright, let's just get this guy. Sneak up on his bitch ass. <laughs> oh, I love this weapon, man. This music, it's really cool. I'm gonna try and play this game as completely, like, non-lethally as I can. I don't want to try and kill people. I'm going to try and do this as best as I can. But we will have to see. Alright, so... Alright, so now we'll follow that. Can I climb up that? Uh oh Parkour, I see. I remember the beginning to the first Watch Dogs game had a really cool intro as well, so... Hoping this will just be as good. Whoa! Alright then, Marcus. <laughs> Back flipping. You're wasting your time. He's not in. Gotcha. So that's him. He's got a gun. Is that a problem? Well, problems are why you keep me around, right? He's a stun gun. Time him. I'm curious. Too late. He's in. Already? I have no idea. Nuh uh. No synonyms either. Give me a real answer. I'm just not that into aliens or video games. It's not just any alien. It's oh come on. Anyone else having a problem with their fuck? Yes. Oh that, that was really hurt. <laughs> I don't even need to say a word, I'm not badass. Who is he? It's Retro. The home domain awareness hacker? That retro? Yes. We told you that already? Yeah, I never listened. Okay, how do I do this? Oh. Profiling objects, okay. I gotta find the key, alright. 
Oh, okay. So this is what you meant to do. Oh, all right. God, I'm an idiot. So that is what you meant to do. You just meant to do that. It's odd you have to go into that vision. That's where the key is. Oh, so you've got... All right. It's kind of neat. There we go. Oh, no, no, no. That's not what you want to do. All right. L1. There we go. Let's go. I shouldn't be running, but screw it. I like this music. <laughs> Alright, that's... That was embarrassingly long. I'll just edit that out, but... That was me being an idiot. Alright. Uh-oh. So do I have to... Do it up there? I guess so. Is there... I guess I've just got to run up there then. Make my way up as best I can. That stun gun. The aiming's a bit weird. I know the shooting's been criticized a little bit in the game, but... It ain't too much of a problem for me. But I gotta get through this without getting any getting anyone seen. He was raised in Oakland, but was born in... <laughs> his deal is... He's been hanging around the DeadSec IRC, and he's got cred. Figured we'd give him a test drive. On the hardest difficulty, nobody's been able to delete their CTOS profile before. I want to see if he's smart, stubborn, or both. Man, I can tell you right now, the controls are actually pretty good. How? How did he not see? Alright. I guess you're not able to shoot them, wait. Shoot them from that far away. Still, though. There we go. Oh, I thought I missed him then. You don't have to reload this thing, do you? Can I take his money? Oh, I just did. $191. I will take that. Thank you very much. I'm scared that one of them is just going to see me and I'm going to screw up the whole thing. You mentioned this completely stealth. Like, I want to get another, like, melee takedown in. Alright, let's go. Oh, let's get it. Oh, crap. No! Well, I screwed that up. I screwed that up really bad. I didn't know another one was there. Just go in. Quick, 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 quick. Don't take your time or anything. I am so chill right now. It's unbelievable. All right, just get out of here. CTOS tagged him as a prime suspect in a high-tech burglary, so... He's done time? Community service. Not enough evidence. Just the word of CTOS's predictive algorithms. Uh, once in the system, always in the system. Pretty much. Okay, so we just gotta wait for this thing to. That's cool. I cannot believe I screwed up already. Uh oh. Holy shit! He went for it. You won't have much time before the backups kick in. Did I do it? I guess I did. <laughs> Something happened. Whoa. I'm gonna like playing as this guy. Because Aiden had a bit of light parkour in the first game, but it wasn't to an excessive amount. Not as much as this guy. Because Aiden was like in his. Oh, he was almost 40, I think. I think he was like 39 or something. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, how do I go up there? Do I go through here? No. But the free running does seem pretty good. I mean, it'll be better when you're in the open world and you're actually doing stuff, but. No, so far I'm liking it. Just how do I get up there? That's the thing, because I ain't jumping over there or anything. Oh. <laughs> or I could just go this way, you know? Make it life a bit easier for myself. Oh, God.
He still hasn't said a word. I'm gonna like this guy. He's just completely chill. Even though he was just in that hot mess. I didn't do a backflip that time. Come on. He's in the system. You gotta do that every time I jump off. This is like the secret cow level. Secret cow level. What the hell? All right. All right. Vault. There we go. Just making sure I'm doing this right. So this is what we gotta get. Oh no. Puzzle? I cannot tell. Oh, it's this. Oh, this is what I gotta do. Oh, alright. Oh, so they are in the, they're envi the environment this time? Alright then. There we go. Just gonna do it now. Done. my threat so this is bullshit Oh, so we actually have to choose. Um, I don't want to be a drug mule, former model. Uh, game review. You know what? Fuck it. Why not? Let's go with the game reviewer. <laughs> I could I could see myself doing that. I like games. I like talking over them. Just gonna drop a little back door into the system so I can get back inside later. Sorry, that guy's not <laughs> we've got unfinished business. That guy's not gonna have a good day though. He's heading out. Bag him. Yeah. Bag me. Ethan's out cold. We got an intruder. Lock down the exit and send someone to check him out. They're just dropping me back into it, why not? Okay, so while targeting an object, hold L1 to open the hacking module and then press... Okay, so... We got that. What do I do? We'll go towards it then. Oh, there we go. That's what you're meant to do. So he's, when he walks into it, will he just... There we go. That's pretty neat. I really should not be running like this, but you know what? Screw it. I just need to know where I'm going. That'd be very helpful. Come on, man. No. Ah, oh, it takes forever to read. Really? You shut up. How have I screwed up this fast? Just get out. Go. You just need to go now. Run, 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 run. I'm even going the right way, that is. Oh, no. Oh, blood everywhere. Alright, let's go. Another one. It's pretty badass, I'm not gonna lie. Let's go. I like that the camera's not, like, so close into you. That was the thing in the first game. When you would run, the camera just was so far into you. I like that it's like they panned out a little bit. That's just a personal thing for me, but... Oh, God. Let's go. Like a ninja. He never saw me. Where the hell am I meant to go? Oh, alright. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. <gasps>
In 2013, Chicago realized the promise of smart cities with CTOS, a citywide operating system merging big data with surveillance, security, and transit programs. With a few hundred lines of code, hackers were able to hijack its central servers and cripple the entire grid. Many believed the attack would be a killing blow for smart city development. They were wrong. Coordinated from the heart of Silicon Valley, CTOS 2.0 has been implemented across the United States, ushering in the Internet of Things. 6.4 billion connected devices now serve as collection points, mapping and recording our daily routines, making a more secure and more invasive system. But who else is listening? Big Brother no longer works alone. Thousands of little brothers monitor and aggregate your every move, building a complete digital profile of you to be bought, sold, or stolen in an instant. Toys study your children, reporting their play habits back to marketers. Appliances, consoles, and home security systems give corporations a window into your private life. Control of your vehicle and mobile device can now be breached remotely by anyone at any time. You may think that you are immune or underestimate the risk, but your digital shadow is already compromised. Insurance companies use algorithms to monitor your life habits and limit or deny coverage. Health providers determine if your cancer is is worth treating. Search results and news fees are skewed to bias mood and influence your vote, engineering social uprisings on a massive scale. You are now less valuable than the data you produce. Data you produce. This is the new reality. Going dark is no longer an option. With threats to personal freedom rising, many are stepping forward. Whistleblowers, activists, and hackers have drawn their battle lines, putting the establishment on watch. But are they threats themselves, or have they become freedom's last line of defense? So? Am I in? Welcome to Dead Sec. I'm Satara. This sweetheart is Josh, AKA Hot Sauce. Yo, you're Hot Sauce? Yeah, man, I loved your frat house hat. Real talk. Thanks. This weirdo's wrench. The needs of the many. And this Casanova is Horatio. What's up, brother? Man. It's the crew, huh? Took y'all long enough to come get me. Shit. You saw Bloom's bullshit. CTOS isn't just regulating infrastructure. The amount of personal data that thing is collecting is fucking mind blowing. Yeah. It's Big Brother and Little Brother all rolled up into one. Huh? Sees everything you do and tells on you. Thank you, Josh. So what's the fix? Sledgehammers and fire. No, sledgehammers on fire. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All of that data in one place means they can reject your fucking application before you click on it. <laughs> Congratulations, you have been free rejected for our credit card. Or your house, or your insurance. That's not even the worst case scenario. All that data in the hands of the government? They'll arrest you for shit before you even do it. Yeah, I've been there. I don't fucking know why. Man, f fuck it! Fuck it, man. We're hackers. We, we out think, we out dare. I, I say we tear down the fucking wall. Hey, show everyone what, what Bloom's up to, man. Show, show the world that their personal data is being used to rob them of their fucking freedoms. Fuck. I installed a back door, so all we gotta do is walk right through. Uh, hold on. You what? He installed the back door, so all we have to do is walk through. Bingo. Hey, man. Do you got the time? Yeah, yeah, man. I, I got it. I got it. It's kind of late for a night run, isn't it? Hey, what are you, what are you running from the cops? 
Maybe I am one. Hey, hey you, you look familiar. <laughs> Have a good party. Fucking ping this motherfucker. Fuck you, Bloom. I'm gonna go have a goddamn good time. Hello? Whose phone is this? It's your new phone. Where's my phone? In the ocean, where you threw it, I think. I don't remember. I was pretty smashed. Look, meet us at the hacker space. Where? Check your pics and figure it out. I guess I was lit, huh? <laughs> like Mardi Gras. Go get yourself something to wear, and I'll tell you where to go next. Oh, and you'll need your phone ready for operations. So hit the store and download your apps before you get here. Damn, walk of shame on my first day. All right, well, <laughs> I like this guy already. Okay, so open my phone. Oh, do not tell me that this is just the up. This is like the, the pause screen. I'm not gonna like that. Oh no. All right. Anyway, go to the app shop. What do you get? Uh, noodle maps. Really? So that's just a parody of Google, I guess. Oh, that's sick. Nice. How much money do I have? I have four thousand. Why not? Three dollars. I'll buy it. <laughs> Might as well buy Song Sneak. Director's I don't even know what it is, but let's take it. Such a Los Santos feel, isn't it? Okay, visit clothing stores. Well, I need to get out of this. Look at these. It's like he's in his underwear. Is it anywhere? Can I just take that? Don't think so. Oh, wait, no, yeah, I can. I actually know where I'm going, so where's the clothing store? No, I want a clothing store. It's all the way here. No, I fast traveled, alright. I forgot the game... The loading times, man. The first game had long loading times as well, but I think this one is just about... Eh, they're not as bad. But the last game was... Oh, oh right. The last game was also on PS3 and Xbox 360 as well, so... Oh, this was... I don't think this is where I want to be. We'll take a look anyway, screw it. Is pro I don't think this is going to be the place for me, honestly, guys. Yeah, let's just actually not go here. <laughs> I'm no punk, alright? I'm no punk rocker. Where's the other one? Alright, here we go. This is... It looks better. Again, I'm not a, hi I'm not a hit person. But I'm not a punk person either, so... Give me something good. They don't really have many options, do they? They have a beanie, that's why I... doesn't really look doesn't look like it suits him though. What's hey. this? Premium. Ooh. Oh, okay, I didn't get the premium. I love this though, because in the first game it was like, you can get a blue jacket, you can get a red jacket, you can get a yellow jacket. It's like, uh, these look good. Let's get these. For now. I don't really know if I want to get um hat for now, honestly. I can get a cheap one. Yeah, we'll get more later. Let's just go with this one for now. 
I am a beanie guy, but I don't really think that looks too good, so. <laughs> Alright, let's get something. No, I don't. Everything's got the freaking logo on it. I don't like that. See, look at that. Every bit of clothing has the logo on it. I don't... That actually looks really cool. There are blue ones. But I think because I have the black pants. Nah, screw it. I'm going to go with that one I saw. That looks pretty cool. I like that. We did it. We done. And I got right, 2,000 followers from it. Sending you the location and the passcode for the door. Okay, so we need to actually go there. Well, if that's the case, then I'm going to leave this first episode here. I don't want it to be too long. Hopefully it was interesting. That is a freaking crap. That is awesome. But so far, I'm really liking it. But I haven't really played too much in the open world to actually say anything. So uh, we're going to go to the next mission. I hope you guys will go into enjoy the series again. I'm sorry that I do sound quiet. It's just, it's like, it's actually, it's almost one in the morning, which is not, is not very good. Holy crap. This parkour is going to be so fun to use. I can just tell. Wait, will they do another flip? Okay, that's so cool. I'm going to love this. Anyway, thank you all for watching. This is going to be the start of an amazing series, I can just tell. So, yeah. Until next time, guys. I'll see you then. Take care, everyone. Flip for luck. Yeah.